sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Vega. That's a little lame. I ran with a simple crowd. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. <laughs> as long as you keep control of those biotics of yours. So what does happen to a biotic when they're completely borracho? Stick around, muscles. Maybe you'll find out. Yeah, muscles. I like that. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit. Even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to taking a damn break. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed, but fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? It was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. <laughs> you know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything, and we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey. Not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. <laughs> You're absolutely right. 
So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait, what? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As... Friends, of course, if you wanted to steal me away later, I wouldn't say no. Protean gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. Own it! Embrace it! So who is strongest? You or the tank braid? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Brax. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. <laughs> Baby Pijack here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! Ah, I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys done talking? Yeah. Only one way to settle this. <laughs> now the party's starting. Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. In my cycle, too many people in one room risk the high casualty rate of attack. We should all be careful. But you have no plans after Edie? Someone more human? Uh, no. She's smart, she's funny, and she's into spaceships. You know what you want. I can respect that. Wow. This is quite the apartment. Seriously. You see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? <laughs> in my dreams, I have a place just like this, overlooking the Pacific. I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there a button needs pushing, but Shepard always hogs that part. Yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. Working with Shepard reminded me of my younger days, 
running with mercenaries, blowing things up with mercenaries, and occasionally sleeping with mercenaries. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope he took a shower, because my filter needs replacing, and humans carry a lot of germs. And three years later, here you are, drinking his alcohol through a straw. I'd call that progress. Something to look forward to, then. Shepard! So, where'd you propose? I haven't yet. Seriously? I want to do it right. Not on some backwater rock planet with some ring pumped out of a fabricator. My plan is, Shepard gets me and Bryn into the council chamber. We do a picnic under the cherry blossoms. Then comes the question. A hundred volt, yeah? Sure. Better if I could shoot some kind of death ray out of my bad eye here. Yeah, that would be awesome. So Joker set you free, right? Do you ever get hassled for being a real deal AI? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. <laughs> I asked directions from that bot on the way here. Okay, I admit. When I first heard about it, I thought Archangel was some sort of mascot for a perfume company. I'm glad I got your hopes up, Tally. When I first heard about it, I thought the Shadow Broker was a Shadow Boxer. I pictured some sort of Elcor punching bag. And that's exactly what the galaxy should keep thinking. Not that I have a personal interest in it or anything. Good to see you. And then she says, I was talking to the goat. So, do you have infiltration software that lets you fake being drunk? Yes, though it is rudimentary. The planned strategy was to avoid social situations where naturalism would come under scrutiny. I want to see it. You are seeing it now. Man, some Cerberus programmer phoned that one in. Commander! What the hell? Why not? Commander? Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? Party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tariq. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tariq and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes' long. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. That a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. <sighs> You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled, rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Hey, sweetheart. 
We never really talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well, and we're both good looking. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy. Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. Huh. You are a complicated individual, Daid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. For some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? No. Not the best icebreaker. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh no. Should I find somewhere else to be? No! No, no, I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? Told you. Tolly, please stop helping. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. <laughs> There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herb dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Oh, wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair is fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was... At the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in certain sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program. So I don't die. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward? Awkward. Uh. 
absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. <sighs> Only a little. Maybe. I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I'll have you know that my physical conditioning is top rate. I mean it. Check me out. Is there more to your argument? Hey guys, Dr. Chop. No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. What if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker's body count is plenty high. You don't need to take him anywhere. This is not about me knocking Joker. This is about being prepared for the worst. Man, I didn't hear of any gunplay when Rex grabbed your shuttle on Sir Cash. If there had been, I'd have killed our best shot at an alliance with the Krogan. You mean you would have wounded it? Ha! Ah. Then maybe we should drink. To brains as well as guns. Done. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. What kind of music is this? That's nah, not that club crap, is it? I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really, no. Get lost. <laughs> no. You should maybe let me decide that. Huh? Okay, but I'm telling you it's ugly out there. It can't be that bad. Hello? Front. Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. Hey, Shepard. Thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. I've had lots to drink. And look at me. Still standing. Yeah. <laughs> Ever seen a Krogan drink so much they get sick on your floor? I'm here to make sure that dream comes true. I could stop bullets with my mind! You guys, I love you guys. No, no, listen, okay? No, no, really. Okay? Here's the thing, beautiful. I've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. I haven't. Right. Still, what do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snuggle? You've never struck me as the snuggling type. 
Even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side. And I can see from here you definitely have a soft side. <laughs> Come on. No. Well, that's clear enough. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting brutes and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Kasumi, I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me too. No ice. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You going there, James? Come on, Loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? I wouldn't call my biotics unpredictable. I don't think the Reapers would either. A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. And what about our poor friends stuck with flawed implants? Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? That's... no. That's a bit strange. Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Baker. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Wait, we're still talking about combat, right? Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit-ups. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> Ugh, goddess. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Okay. More drinks? Snacks? Help yourselves. Hey! <laughs> need me to do anything? Uh, food run, change the music, check on ice? I need you to relax and have a good time. Okay, you're the boss. Uh, hey, maybe I'll cook something. Caden? Just relax. Well, that was mortifying. Tell me about it. You need not be embarrassed. Sexual attraction is natural for organics. And given your orientation and interest in synthetics, we can, we can stop talking about this whenever you like. I practically poisoned myself with cheese trying to change the subject. If you are interested, I have a list of extranet sites involving romantic relationships between organics and synthetics. No! No, 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 no! No, you can't even... No! Oh, okay, sure. Send it my way. Oh. We could just talk. I'm sure you've got a few stories to tell. Almost a thousand years worth. I'd like to hear them. 
And then I could tell you about my... Jesse. Oh, Jesse was beautiful. Once you've experienced a love like that... Did you and Jesse have children? Oh, no. Jesse was my rifle. But also my best friend. You know, Zaid, there's nothing wrong with silence between two friends. Oh, got it. <laughs> All right, Jack. I hate to say it, but Cerberus was wrong about you. No shit. You're still violent and maladjusted. But the elusive man never would have predicted you'd bond with the Grissom Academy kids. You are growing, despite everything Cerberus did to you. I find that... extremely admirable. Wow. Thanks. I still really hate you, but you have fantastic tits. <laughs> All right. I can live with that. Don't give me that look. What look? That I wanted to watch Joker break his hands off at the shooting range look. It's not cool to mess with people because they've got limitations, you know? Oh, next you'll be going on about how the strong aren't supposed to eat the weak. Uh, speaking as the weak, yes. But everybody's weaker than me. What am I supposed to do for lunch? Three words. Thresher, Ma, Jerky. You again. I thought you were dead. You can't come in. I'm pissed, but I'm not gonna let it ruin the party. Well, that's good news. More drinks, yes? Jacob. L2? Yeah. Easy. So what were your fighters like? Much more compact than any I've seen in this cycle. A pilot was given his fighter on completion of their training. It remained his to use and maintain. To be buried in your ship was an honor. It showed true skill and workmanship. Wow. Kinda makes me tear up a little. Kinda makes me wonder how they could afford to lose a perfectly good fighter. What was the name? Uh, yeah, no. Now you are like Shepard. We're not gonna hug or anything, are we? You wish. <laughs> when you were younger, you ever just throw people around for fun? People? You know, people, things, stuff, pets, cars, whatever. Of course not. Oh, yeah. As a kid? All the time. All the time. Hey, Shepard. No, he's like a brother to me. Shepard? Hey, Shepard. No. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. 
I move like a greased one-legged varin. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. Jeff. Yes, ED. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I've found company, dog legs. Till then? Watch and learn. Could not. Could you? You've seen biotics in action. I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could. But do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? What a guy. Buckle up, brother. Balls? <laughs> you got it, Vega. on deck has he always been like this shepherd is saving the galaxy you have to forgive a few eccentricities it's very enthusiastic it is impressive we should record this and broadcast it for the reapers they'll either run away melt down or fall in love <laughs> good to see some things don't change well i like it commander it's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you all for your loyalty and support. Taking a wild guess here, Shepard. But whatever you're serving is starting to kick in. Has Leo always been so blue? kids and their music these days. I remember a girl who sang in this grubby little dive on Omega. Hmm, she had some lovely scars. Though so he won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. You will not. Well, I will. <laughs> Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with it. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink.
Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh. Fine. Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I can feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. Looks good on you. You're being so gentle, Liara. Can I have a turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. When you're finished playing host, come find me. You won't regret it. My turn to watch you sleep. I never watched you sleep. Liar. <sighs> Got me. Hmm. Really? You have them all memorized? 67. Holmium. Very reactive. Very magnetic. Torian parties almost never end with someone reciting the elements. 68. Erbium. Atomic weight, 167 and change. Nice. My turn. 69. <laughs> In your dreams. What? I don't get it. I'll explain it later. <laughs> it's thulium, in case anyone cared. Turians have trace amounts in our skin. Protects us from solar radiation. Nerd! Dancing is often considered pleasurable, Jeff. Well, not for me. Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. Trevor! So here's where the party's at. Goddamn right. Come to hang out with the popular kids, Shepard. Easier to talk back here. What do you think of the music? Great? Bad? What? Not as good as in your cycle, eh, Javik? Am I right? Not even remotely. Knew it. Oh, maybe we can leg wrestle later. Perfect end to a perfect evening. Sure, absolutely. I'll look for you later then, maybe. I got a piss. I believe the Zaid human is really a Prothean in disguise. I like that one. He and I have discussed conquering the galaxy after the Reapers are gone. Though I do not understand why he's always damning his god. And one day, the Prothean Empire will rise again, and all the primitives will kneel before Jaffe. This is fun. Okay, just shake it like you, like you break it. Wait, wait, what? You people are the best. This is the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Check me out now. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this was nice, you know. Serialized. Don't get much of that. If we are not completely annihilated by Reapers, and the galaxy is not decimated for thousands of years, then we should do this again. Are you having fun? Kind of. Excellent. 
Your dancing closely resembles shepherds. Oh, uh, low blow. You're crazy. Every chance I get. Hey. Shepherd. Commander. No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. I mean, what if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. Still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. Hungover is the perfect time to train. Makes you angry at every loud noise. Cortez. You're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me, shot for shot. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting fruits and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Jack, Miranda's still weak from fighting Kai Lang. It wouldn't be fair for you to fight her right now. That's ridiculous. Don't worry, I won't hurt anything but her pride. And maybe her ass. And Miranda, I know you've got tech attacks that could take Jack down in seconds, but I'm trusting you to be better than that. Oh, really? Really? The truth hurts? Need some time alone with your feelings? Your ass is gonna need some time alone with its feelings. I don't get that. But I'm going somewhere dirty with it. Not helping, Kasumi. It must be hard being a Varen stuck in a boy's body. Gene freaked cheerleader. Child. Okay. Nice talk. But you can't go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really, no. Get lost. <laughs> no. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Press this button and say no. Uh, no. Great work. No oh, good. Thanks. No. See. Easy. Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. And what about our poor friends stuck with flawed implants? Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? That's... no. That's a bit strange. Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Baker. Check it out. 
This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Wait, we're still talking about combat, right? Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit-ups. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> Ugh, goddess. I'm gonna have to go with James on this one. Oh, thanks, Shepard. Biotics are a little intangible when there's an example of physical excellence standing in front of you. Nice. First questionable decision I've seen you make, ever. Check it out. I can also roll my tongue. Oh, my. That's... Shepard, if that's your decision, I support you. Always. James, please stop doing that. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Maybe you should check on your boss. I think she's involved in a competition upstairs. I will locate Dr. Tassoni right away. Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one-legged varn. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. Jeff. Yes, Edie. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you? So we won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. You will not. Well, I will. No. <laughs> Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with it. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. You're right, Joker. Nobody should pressure you into doing something you don't want to do. Thank you. Edie, why don't you make Joker another drink? Something strong. But Jeff has had several drinks already. If he has more, his behavior may become... Oh. What? Nothing. That was a joke. Thank you, Shepard. <laughs> 160. Anyone county? Miranda? <laughs> Absolutely. I think you're just fantastic. How many have I done? I believe you're at 158, Lieutenant Vega. Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little physical supremacy. But can you do that with a drink and a snack in each hand? Sure. Ugh. Wow. <gasps> Why is Caden lapping you? Don't act so surprised. Jacob is showing you up. How come? What do you mean? This is my thing, baby. Seem a little slow tonight, James. Well, nobody's perfect. How's it going on your end? <laughs> okay, now. Let's find a more fun way to get sweaty. Come on, let's dance. This party is definitely exciting. Are you having fun, Liara? I am. Although later I wouldn't mind going somewhere a little more... quiet. Goddamn kids and their music these days. I remember a girl who sang in this grubby little dive on Omega. What's going on over here? Shepard! Found something to shoot. Yeah, I can see that. It's okay, we're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. 
Don't worry. This happens at Krogan parties all the time. And yet I'm still not comforted. Probably best I walk away now. As you wish. Background? Give me more, give me more. Fish dog food shack. Yeah, shack. Um, but every time I, uh, I found this blue rock for you, Yara. Yes, I am. You must be talking to me. Ooh, duct tape. They don't look like birds. They look like cats. I am the law. C4, pay up. The Hanar can't wear sweaters. What are clowns hiding? And the pox of the brief question is finally answered. Oh, hey, Jeff. You're going through my drawers? I go through everyone's drawers. Can't you just mingle and have fun like a normal person? Why would I want to do that? By the way, you have excellent taste in underwear. <sighs> Glad you could make it, Kasumi. Thanks. I'm having a really good time. By your very strange standards. Yep. Well, at least they're clear. You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. Hell yeah. Ha! Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a little gunfire to liven things up. I begin to understand why these celebrations exist. I approve. Wow, Edie, you do not mess around with those drinks. I believe you are strong enough to handle it, Jeff. Hey, that's my song! They're playing my song. Do you still want to dance? That is a wonderful idea. Shepard. 
This is fun. Okay, shake it like you, like you break it. Wait, wait, what? You people are the best. This is the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Check me out. Are you having fun? Kind of. Excellent. Your dancing closely resembles shepherds. Oh, low blow. Hey, Edie, check this out. Oh, pancreas. Very impressive. Your central nervous system is well coordinated it's given your fat. inebriation. I mean Looks like you're not the only dancing machine at this party. Am I right? Jeff. Yes, Edie. That was a very bad joke. I love you too, Edie. Who's here? Is it morning already? Good morning. I love watching you wake up. Let's see if anyone else is up. Got lucky. 
Said this was an easy job, he gasped. Guess we've both been burned. A sorry, very grateful. Could read her like open book. And as it happened, did enjoy reading. In bed. Woke up looking at barrel of pearl handled Carnifex. My M98 in other room. Another black widow standing over me. Only loose ends left, she said. Her mistake. Didn't know I'd been in STG. Learned tricks dirty enough to clog a quarry and soup filter. Your barrier is very similar to your morals, I said, and threw my biotic grenade. Warped. When woke up from explosion, Asari had fled back to afterlife. Felt lucky not to be in afterlife myself. Hadn't been paid, but considered self-fortunate. Had broken Omega's one rule, in more ways than one. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. Tis grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. <sighs> Maybe next time. Until then, we'll stick to patter songs. Prophase you see chromatins condensed to chromosomes. In metaphase their centromeres align to make new homes. In anaphase they separate, then telophase arrives. And when cytokinesis comes, two cells lead separate lives. Hello, Perry the Pajak. Happy to be here. Science fun today, very respected. Education. Oh, is it time to rule the galaxy now? Kneel before Javik. I had a dream. Fifty thousand years had passed. It was horrible. I was alone. Primitives had evolved. They ruled the galaxy. Solarians, Turians, and the Asari. I was one. The Ara. She had those eyes and that voice. She was blue. No, no, it was just a dream. Oh, I smell primitives. Oh, it was no dream. Did we uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe I should just stop saying that word. But only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. The apartment seems so quiet now. The apartment seems so quiet now. Shepard, good morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. It was good to see everyone again. I hope you enjoyed your evening as well. I am going to die. I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. I remember something about a tattoo. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah. I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. Morning, chef. You went all out with the breakfast supplies. I didn't know you could get real milk on the Citadel. I had some. Thought it was soy. I'm not really lactose intolerant. I just don't put up with lactose's stupid drama. In case I don't see you again, thanks. That was a lot of fun. 
I should go. Stupid dairy products. Hey. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just, just think quiet thoughts. Ugh. Still fun, though. Commander. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. Huh. Morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. What a night. Wish it never ended. Thanks, Shepard. Thanks, Shepard. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? Shepard? Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. That was a joke. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. Now that was a great time. There's coffee. Who wants coffee? I want coffee. More coffee? Am I being too loud? Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. I see everyone survived the festivities. More or less. Mmm. Good tea. Mmm. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Kate, here's some eggs to go with that coffee. Rex, buddy, eggs? Tally? Nah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda. Shepard. Eggs. Shepard. I think I broke my head on something last night. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. Shepard. Shepard. I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? 1085. 1086. 1087. Shepard? Hey. You look like shit. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Hey. So, last night, I didn't... do anything. Did I? I'm checking extranet sites. No hits yet, so maybe I just imagined that last part. I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. Oh, I should probably talk to Edie. Or... Oh. 
alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. It's not my fault. I was overserved. Hey. The apartment seems so quiet now. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? There's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? <laughs> I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. I suppose it's back to the fight. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. You may be right. But whatever happens, I know you'll see this through. And I'll be right there with you. We've been through a lot, haven't we? But it's been a good ride. <laughs> the best.